What's going on everybody? Welcome back to video number two in the uh, tattoo series that I've got going on here. Now for the second video, I thought that it'd be fitting to discuss my face tattoo as it is my most recent tattoo. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this will be a rather quick video in comparison to my sleeve video. Obviously, I don't have my face loaded with tattoos as my arm is, so we'll just be going over, you know, the meaning, uh, the pain scale, and the healing process of this one right here. Now, this tattoo is a bit different in the way that once I actually got to the tattoo studio, the tattoo ended up changing from what my original idea was. Only slightly, but still it did change nonetheless. So let me give you a close up of it real quick so you can see it obviously this far back. It's very small, you can't see it that well. So here you go. So as you can see here, it is uh, a lightning bolt shape. Originally it was more of an S shape and what we ended up doing by the end of the drawing up process was adding on that extra crook to it. I don't know what it was, I just didn't really love the way it was sitting at first with my original design idea. Um, and once we added that extra crook on there, it just looked perfect to me. So now moving on to the meaning of this tattoo. Basically, if you saw my last video, actually, you would have known already that um, I have a love for Viking rune symbols. There's one there, there's another one there. Um, Viking rune symbol for wealth, Viking rune symbol for good health. Now, with this tattoo, it's also a Viking rune symbol, or at least it originally was. What that meant and stood for was the sun. The technical Viking rune name for it is Sol, S-O-L. I love the fact that it would be a symbol that was under my eye to kind of symbolize that, you know, you've always got your eye on the horizon. You're always looking forward. The sun always rises another day, things like that. <clears throat> are sort of what this tattoo means to me. And of course, even with the extra crook added on to it, I still consider it to have the same meaning as I had planned for it um, going into the shop. So it's interesting in that way, but it still does hold that same meaning for me. And I really love how it came out. I love it. You know, obviously it's been healed for a while, even though it's my most recent tattoo. and. I forget it's there all the time. Like literally, super funny. Cause you know, it's a very visible tattoo, but of course I only see it uh, in photos, videos, uh, and when I look in the mirror. So I do see it, me personally, very infrequently, yet everyone else sees it all the time. It's not like with my sleeve where I can just look down and see it, it's there. I always can see it. Um, even my chest, like I can look down and see that this is there. You know, your face is a bit different. So now getting into the pain scale of this tattoo. Now, of course, it was very quick. It's very small, just a few lines and all, um, but nonetheless, definitely hurt right on the, you know, the cheekbone here. Being that my adrenaline was very high for this tattoo, I was amped and it was so quick. It wasn't very, it wasn't really that bad. Um, same thing with if you've watched my last video again, um, you would have known like tips of my fingers weren't too bad either. They were also very quick, kind of like this. And also it's interesting when getting tattooed, like with a tattoo that you go into it thinking and knowing that it's gonna hurt real bad, your adrenaline is even higher. <laughs> so you end up feeling it a lot less badly um, than you thought, at least until the adrenaline wears off. How long the tattoo took? Um, I mean, it took 20 seconds, 30 seconds, half a minute. I would say half a minute to a minute. Very, very quick, which was very, very nice. 
the healing process wasn't too bad, although it's on your face. So one of the newer things that I had to be attentive of as opposed to all my other tattoos was, well, I wash my face every day. And with all my other tattoos, those aren't something that I have a routine for every single day. So I had to do a lot of research and figure out how I was supposed to actually go about washing my face so as not to damage the tattoo and the healing process. What I ended up finding out was that I needed castile soap, which I already had. So what they recommend is to just wash it with castile soap, which you can use on your face as well. So for the entire healing process, I changed what I washed my face with to castile soap and I kept my post face washing, like using a uh, face moisturizer, I kind of kept that the same. So it wasn't too much of a difference in my daily routine, but definitely be sure that you do the research if you're gonna get one, um, because you definitely do not want to damage something that is literally on your face. The healing process took, I don't know, two or three weeks, I would say. It never got very itchy, you know, it's not very big. It definitely did scab up really well and I had to be sure when I was washing my face that I took, you know, very small circles. You gotta be very gentle with it um, as well as, you know, smiling and contorting your face to do certain emotions. You gotta be careful with that too. But again, with any tattoo, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel the tension on the scab and you just don't wanna push that tension if you do she's gonna rip and you do not want to let her rip. In other activities, it's good to let it rip, you know, let her rip. But let me just say with the scabs on a healing tattoo, never let her rip. <laughs> so guys, I hope you found out everything that you wanted to know about my face tattoo or even just found out some good solid information if you're thinking about getting a face tattoo yourself. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have a face tattoo. I'd like to know uh, which of my viewers has one, if any. <laughs> or if you're thinking about getting one, always uh, be sure to let me know your cool tattoo stories down below as well. I'm always interested in what you guys have to say. And as always, make sure you like the video, whichever side it's on. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already because, of course, the next video will be me covering my chest tattoo um, in full detail as I have this video in the past video. So, of course, subscribing will make sure that you don't miss it. And as always, I will see you in the next one.